Good morning. It is 4 a.m. Uh, I have to make a delivery this morning. It's due at uh, 10 a.m. But it's like five hours away. But before that, I have to go get ready. This is the route I'm taking this morning. I'm in literally the border of Wisconsin. I have to cross the entire state of Minnesota and end up right there in North Dakota. That is 275 miles. Right now I have like half a tank. Usually, usually lasts 200 miles. So I'm gonna go get fuel here while I can. So that way I don't end up stopping for fuel. Is this the right way? I said it was gonna be on the left. I think it's that building right there. And then where's the entrance? Arriving at 5669 13th Avenue North on the left. Left. There's two entrances. There's one over there, there's one over here. We're gonna stop destination here. Destination is on the left. I know, but what entrance? We can fit a truck through there. I'm assuming it's that one. Alright, we'll find out. Uh, this is probably it. Yard procedure, speed limit 5 miles an hour. <laughs> Driver's chalk wheels, check in with dispatch. Where do I check in? Where is the check-in door? Oh, is that it? No, it's just a regular door. I probably passed it. I don't know. All right, I, I'm gonna go check in. I have to look for the door. It's here somewhere, but I'll be back in a little bit and they'll tell me where to park and what dock to go on to and everything. All right, they told me to back into door 14. Someone's calling me, I'm not gonna answer. Uh, they, the guy told me that it takes about three hours to unload the trailer here at this warehouse, which is a very long time. <laughs> So right now it's like 10, 11, 12, 1. I don't know if I'm going to get another delivery today because I shut down at 3 p.m. every single day. Now, I bought some new bed sheets, but they're white. And so I am extremely careful. 
And I ended up buying this table instead of always eating on my bed because once this thing gets a stain, like it's not coming out. And then I was thinking like, I didn't buy, here's the problem, look, okay. I bought like a normal person's mattress. Like it's actually like this thick, like a normal mattress, but it, it's so low <laughs> because the mattress is so high. So then I was thinking, well, I need some sort of chair. Then I was thinking, where the, am I gonna put a chair? And then I saw this, my garbage can. So my garbage can now doubles as my seat. And it has a double use now. Ugh. All right, we are all done now. I have to make my way to the next uh, delivery of the day. All right, this is my next delivery, picking up an hour and a half away, going all the way, basically going back where I came from. <laughs> going back through Minnesota, down, and then to Illinois, the GP Transco headquarters. Right now, I have to pick up the delivery, say like an hour and a half away, just north. Turn left at the traffic light. Sharp left onto North Washington Street. Oh, this is a tricky, tricky turn. Alright, talk to me GPS. Which one? Which one? Which entrance? Which entrance? Which entrance? In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Uh, it was a dirt lot, but it led to a warehouse. Well, I think it's this one right here. Pretty sure this is the one, and then there are a bunch of uh, docks right around that corner over there. Your destination is on the right. In one half mile, turn left on North Columbia Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is it. Mm -hmm. Flower warehouse for truck pickup. Ah, this seems like it's the right place. Where do I park? I just park in the middle. I'm just gonna park it here next to this container. I don't know what they want me to do. I'm assuming check-ins over there. So I'm gonna go check in and then they're gonna tell me what dock to back into. All right, that is a nice Peterbilt. That is like very nice. But the guy said to back into dock number three and it is over there. But with this amount of space, I mean, I should be able to get it in one go. This is like a truck driver's dream right here. If every place we go into has this much space to park, I'm pretty sure the company that starts with an S wouldn't even be able to hit anything. Now where's Doc 3? Also, this place smells like french fries. Here, let's start looking for a truck stop while I'm waiting. Okay, Garmin, truck stop along my route. Actually, I can stop at a rest area because I showered this Which morning. Which result would you like? 2.8 miles. Really? Now, is it a big truck stop? Or is it one of those pilots where there's like 20 parking spots? Let me see. It's a pretty... Which result would you like? It's a pretty decent size highway patrol. Highway patrol is right there. Police department. I don't have anything wrong. I don't have anything to hide. Uh, it'll be safe. Yeah, we'll just go there. One, add as next stop. Going to pilot on North 47th Street in Grand Forks. All right, they're all done loading. I closed the trailer doors, moved the tandems, everything. It is... 43 almost 43,750 pounds of flour 
That's an insane amount of flour. <laughs> but honestly, I like the heavy, heavy deliveries. In, in this truck, in a Freightliner, give me every heavy delivery you have. Every heavy delivery possible. Because it stabilizes this shaky truck. Uh, now this delivery is going from uh, north, I think, I mean like, I'm in like Forgo or Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota to Chicago, Illinois. But I, I'm not delivering to Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to drop it off at the company location in Joliet, Illinois. And some local driver is going to take it to Chicago. Because, you know, I'm not driving in Chicago. The city of Chicago? No, 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 no. This is the place. Uh, for one, this isn't even a, a pilot truck stop. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it said it was a pilot. It's not a pilot. This is a Stamart. What is this? Stamart Travel Center. But well, you know what? I don't care because I already showered. So whenever I go to a. How do I get on the scale? The scale's right there. I need to make a loop D. I think I could fit through there. I'll fit through there. Alright, we're gonna take this extra wide just to be safe. Stupidly wide. Uh, I can make this. Oh god, this is hot hole. Oh gosh. I am at illegal weight. Um, I have to move the trailer wheels back uh, like three, maybe three notches, three holes. All right, so right now we're in the one, two, three, fourth hole. So one, five, five, six, seven. Four plus three equals seven. <laughs> what is this? How did it go from 34.8 to now it's 46,000? That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I mean, if I pull up a little more. Come on now, give me the right one. The right weight. All right, we we are legal weights. It's thirty four thousand is the max weight I can have on any set of tires, any axle. But I don't I, I don't like how how close it is. So I'm I'm gonna go park, and then I'm still gonna move the tandems. I want the corner spot. That way this guy's already parked, so he can't. It's impossible for him to back into my truck and mess up my truck. He's already parked. But if I park like here, then the spot to my right still open. That means someone's gonna come there eventually and start to back in there, and then that's the risk of my truck being hit. No, no, no. Alright, so right now it's on the seventh hole, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Need to go with need to go to eight. Yeah. We'll use we'll use this napkin as a marker. I'll look at it in my mirror. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're good.